hey traders welcome back to another video in this one we're going to take a look at the last week's performance for the larry connor's rsi 2 that we programmed into a bot and we have a trading on our live portfolio at the moment so if you're not sure what that is there's a playlist right here that would go over how the strategy works we did some back testing on it and then that is where you would find the weekly updates for that particular strategy uh, if you're interested in getting into trading forex and you're completely new and you don't know where to start i recently started a series on that as well that would go you know guide you through the process of setting up a brokerage account downloading the mt4 platform um getting it installed and then we'd move forward to go through some of the indicators and getting into you know different types of orders and so on there's a playlist for that right here as well so with that being said uh, let me just jump straight into the charts and take a look at what we have going on for this week right so we're here on the vps um if you are not sure what the vps is this is our virtual server that we have the mt4 platform running on is more stable and it keeps the charts running continuously even though my system is off uh, if you want to know how to set up your own vps i would be doing a video in the future showing how to get that done so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification so you would know when i drop that video so let me look at the charts and see what we have going on for the week so there is something to keep in mind as we move forward let's open this chart so you can take a look at it so these dotted lines represent the start of a new week this is based on the four hour time frame normally if you are doing this on a one hour chart this would be you know this the distance between days so this would be a one day span but because it's the four hour chart this is a one week span right so this was the start of the previous week and this was the trades we looked at last week and this is the start of this week and these are the trades that we're going to look at now so let's start from the us chf and we had one sell position right here um you know price was in a, a downtrend we pulled back we crossed the, the 94 level and we took a sell position here and on this candle the candle closed below the five period exponential moving average so we closed that trade and that is basically how the strategy works so it wouldn't work a hundred percent of the time but that is basically what the system is we didn't have any positions for the week on the euro dollar on the pound dollar we had one trade we had a buy position right here um we bought at the bottom of this candle and we closed off here even though we had this this long run it it would have actually been quite a nice profit but we are sticking to the system and the system says that we close when price breaks above or below the five period exponential moving average so moving forward on the um the dollar yen we had two sell positions so this is uh using the scaling feature that i put into the the bot now the initial larry connor strategy um it didn't mention anything about scaling but i decided to add it in the feature because if you have the criteria met in one bar and then the criteria is met in another bar if you had come in on that second bar you would have taken it and it it can work both ways is a, a double edged sword as they say so if you are in a winning position it actually scales up the win quite a bit um, if it's in a losing position and this is where this is where it had two sides to that so in a losing position it could increase the loss but it could also reduce the loss and i would explain that when we get to another chart so we took two trades right here and then we closed off at this point not a bad trade uh, we have a losing position at this point now this is something that i noticed and I, I need to pay more attention to this to try to figure out exactly what it is but from me guessing right now what i assume it could either be um one of two things it could be lag based on the vps i may need to increase the calls on the vps or it could be that when we got the criteria at this point the spread was too far apart and the bot didn't decide to trade because the bot 
would only trade when the spread is within a certain level and that is to re um that is really basically to stop it from trading news because i don't want it to be trading news at all so uh that could have been it when when this candle opened the spread could have been too high it didn't trade and then when it came down here the spread came down to the you know the area it's supposed to be at and then it took the position so it is something to pay attention to um because of that we took a slight loss so yeah all right so the aussie dollar we had two positions now this is the the benefit of scaling you can see we took a buy position here the profit would have been extremely extremely slow it low um, it could have been break even or it may still be a loss after you take into consideration pain swap so um, Because of the scaling this position here, you know added to the winner. So it did make a small win The New Zealand dollar we had two buy positions right here and we closed it off at this point, which was not bad um, That was not bad trade at all either so I decided to try uh, trading the US index, right? So to see how the US index would perform because in the back testing I didn't even look at the US index. So um, we took two positions here and we closed off at this point. So this wasn't a bad trade at all. So we need to keep, you know, looking at, see how it performs moving forward. If it's something that we could keep trading, if I could add more index to it. Um, yeah. So we move on to the pong yen we had a loss on the pong yen uh we sold here you can see the market rallied and then it came back down now this might look like a lot it actually rallied up a hundred pips and yes a hundred pips is a lot but you need to keep in mind that this bot right now is risking two percent for every two atr move and you know a one ATR move here is probably about 80 90 pips so it actually this is actually less than a two percent move um, then it closed back down and then we made a small loss at this point so on to the euro yen so this is one of the benefits of scaling um, you can see here we took our sell position then because the market keep rallying we are still over the 94 we took another sell position and we took another sell position and another sell position and we closed off here at the bottom when price closed below the five period now if we were just using one trade alone we would have taken a 60 pip loss um and then we added this one which was another 70 pip you know it, it took it up to 70 pips in total we would have lost now because of the scaling um this actually reduced the loss here by four pips and then this came here and reduced the loss by another 30 pips so it took a 70 pip loss down by 34 pips which kind of helped um reducing risk so as i said the the scaling could you know work in three ways it could be extremely beneficial where all the scale in positions are positive um, it could be negative where all the scaling positions are negative or it could aid in reducing risk where some of the scaling positions are negative and some are positive and it, it comes as a basket of trades to reduce the overall risk so yeah that was the euro yen um, I believe this was the last trade for the week on the card yen we sold to the top here and then we came down at this point and closed so um let me check we have we have nothing going on on the aussie yen so yeah those are the trades that we took for the week let's take a quick look at my fx book um you can see in total the account is up 9.94 percent and we had a drawdown of 2.1 percent and for the week we are up 5.42 percent which is pretty good uh this is the trade history so this history shows you know all the the trades since the account was opened um you see the account opened here so the trades for this week started on the fifth um we started off the week with three losing positions and then we came back we make a small win at half a percent then we lose one tenth of a percent and then from there we have some winning trades moving forward so um yeah that is how we that is the trades that we made for the week um so it not performing too bad uh i think there would be some slight adjustments but 
I will let you know about that right now. So, as we could see, the, the bot itself isn't performing bad. Um, the the Larry Connor strategy is, is pretty decent. They, they have books written about it, so it is a pretty decent strategy. What I think I want to do is I want to reduce risk, and in order to reduce risk, I think I would um, reduce the percent use per trade based on the 2 ATR move. Um, at the moment, using a 2% for every two ATR that the market moves. Um, I think I would reduce that maybe by a half a percent or a full percent. And yes, it would you know, reduce the gains on the account, but it would also keep the drawdown down and reduce the risk on that side. And this, the whole purpose of this portfolio is to create this track record that I could use moving forward. And um, I want a nice stable equity curve. So if this is just a personal account that you're playing around with, um, you know, you could risk 5%, I think even at 5% when, when I did the back test, 5% worked out uh, over two years, was almost a 200% gain on the account. Um, it did increase the drawdown quite a bit, but, um, you know, everyone is different and it depends on how you want to look at your risk tolerance and what the purpose of your account is. So yeah that is um most likely what i'll be doing moving forward i think in the coming week i would reduce the risk by one percent or so and then we'll see how that performs at the end of the week so yeah there you have it don't forget to hit my thumbs up if this is something that i like hit my thumbs down if you're not into this kind of thing um if you're into this subscribe to the channel so you will see when i drop new videos because i have the uh beginner's guide into trading forex and then we have this larry corners that we'll be keeping track of as well as new videos i'll be doing on new strategies and different indicators and so on so that is it for now hope you guys enjoy your weekend and you know get ready for a new trading week next week see you all in the next video peace